No, you're welcome. You're welcome. What's the situation, man? I think I'm gonna get a flight because the bike's total, and so is my wrist. Fly to Portland. We'll meet you there. Hopefully, someone can help. That end. Not ideal. So here's the situation, guys. Um, We've made it to Bodega Bay. Uh, Lawrence did the whole ride yesterday with one gear. When we arrived, his bike started playing up again. Uh, for some reason, it's just not holding the single speed setup. I'm also 99% sure that his wrist is broken. So anytime he has to get out of the saddle, he can't. We've decided the best course of action is to split ways. He's gonna get a flight to Portland. We're gonna get to Portland as fast as we can uh, by bike, and then we'll rendezvous there. Lawrence's mission right now is trying to find a bike shop where he can pack up his bike so he can actually fly. Take a bike as pretty as I thought it was gonna be. No. That's the thing we thought was gonna be a nice view. <laughs> it looks a bit like Portsmouth, doesn't it? <laughs> all right. Yep, you're all right. Um, we'll, uh, we'll continue pushing out on social media to see if we can't get someone to hang out with. Catch you in a few days. Good luck. Thanks, man. So we're, it's going to be about a week we get there. We're, we'll, we'll hit Portland on the 12th. We're in a car for a few days and just sleep in the car. Right, so uh, it's me and James on the road. 110 miles to do today. Too far away. Yeah. No worries. You having fun there? All right. Good morning and welcome to today's video. What? I can almost taste it. So we're about 30 miles in now. It's kind of bonking a bit, so luckily we found a shop. There's now no stops for the next 35 miles or so. So we've stocked up on sweets, peanuts. James has bought way too much water. Instantly regretted this. You've got to carry it, mate. Yeah, carry that. Just carry it in your hand. <laughs> the good news is we've done a third of the climbing. Um, yeah. I mean, li uh, a little under, but oh, it's 150 feet off. One good thing about the... Uh, one good thing about the Kamu app is that you can download the foot, the uh, the ride so you can understand kind of elevation profiles. Yeah, we've got no major climbs left. NorCal food. How, how many have we eaten on that trip? On the trip so so much better than SoCal food. <laughs> I think we finally got our heads around the uh, best food at a cafe stop for this type of riding, burrito. This is really good. Yeah, beans, rice, in a squished up thing with a bit of like, I don't know what that sauce is, but yeah, man. It's all, it's all. <laughs> you enjoying the headwind? <laughs> Even the flag doesn't work. Well, I mean, we were told not to go south and north. But admittedly, we were, we were told not to go south and north by the same people who told us not to go through Death Valley. And they were wrong. That's the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. So, fuck it, be all right. Hey look, 50 craft beers. I'd love a beer right now. Yeah, same. <laughs> we didn't probably even get there. No, we've got another 25 miles to go. We are in elk, which is a type of moose. I just saw one get stuck in a barbed wire fence. That was a deer. I'm gonna go and get a gate right or something. H2O! 20 miles left, which will probably take us quite a bit over an hour. Hey, Miss Lawrence. <laughs> I was about to say exactly the same thing. <laughs> not, not for the not headwind, but for the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I miss him for... So good at bringing you up when you feel like <laughs> shit. Because so. he'd be doing a dance. <laughs> Now, 
How has this happened? What? One, two, three beds. We've only got two people for once. First time on the trip? Yeah, you've been sharing with Lawrence this whole time and it don't, don't make the blinds a bit of difference to my life. Some of us have been sharing. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, this is the first time we've had, we've got three. You generally don't get three beds in a room, right? But first time on the trip, we've had three beds. We've only got two people. <laughs> Lawrence is okay. Spoke to him this afternoon. Mm. And he seems, he sounds really quite upbeat, actually, about the whole thing. Which puts my mind at ease because I've been fretting about him all day in a sort of paternal kind of way. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I, I think the, the the plan for us for the next five days is to just tap out a yeah, load head of down. mileage. <clears throat> and it's, it's going to, I mean, you know, today was pretty, pretty full on, wasn't it? I mean, we did over 100 miles into a bastard of a headwind which was blowing at 25 mile an hour in our faces so we averaged I mean, we didn't do too badly actually we averaged 15 miles an hour which on a laden bike over undulating terrain is actually isn't too bad at all um, I mean you brought up a really valid point this afternoon didn't you that you you descend the at same more speed. or less the same speed but you go up at half the speed so, you know, with a usual, like, you know, with a normal bike ride and unladen bike, you know, you go up a, you go up a climb at, I don't know, we'd normally climb at what, 12 to 15 miles an hour? Yeah, man. Whereas we're climbing at five. It's just, it's, it, it, oh. and actually tomorrow's leg is looking, although it's longer, has more overall elevation, it's not quite so undulating. So I'm hoping, because I, I think that's what really smashed us today. Was there was no there was no real like um, there weren't really any periods of respite. It was just kind of you go down and <laughs> there were times where we were we were pedaling downhill at three hundred watts to maintain fifteen miles an hour down a hill. So hopefully tomorrow will be more of the same. Um, I've, I've looked at the route. I can't cut any corners on it because there's only one road. <laughs> we're gonna be, gonna be on one road from Fort Bragg to where are we going tomorrow? Eureka. <laughs> eureka, Eureka. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be f***ing hard.